I'm going to show you how to create a sprite sheet um, which you can use in your Corona SDK project to create an animated character. Um, a sprite sheet is essentially a, a large image which contains a bunch of smaller images, uh, each of those images uh, representing a frame of the animation. Now to start off, you're going to have individual images you've either created yourself or uh, you downloaded somewhere. Um, I got these uh, fisherman uh, images from a free website, uh, a website that allow that allows you to download these free sprites. So um, I'll put the URL up in this video. So let's open this uh, zip file up and uh, take a look at what we have. Now you're going to see here we've got um, this uh, fisherman character, and uh, these are. These, these images are named based on what the character is doing. In this case, uh, the first set are uh, images of him fishing. And you'll see that they're named uh, in a sequ sequentially, uh, numerically here, so that it, uh, it uh, allows you to order the frames easily. It's kind of like a flip book here. So um, you also notice there's a, a, a brown background. Um, that's kind of annoying uh, because for Corona SDK, you really want a transparent background. Um, that's okay. We can take care of that later. But for now, uh, we're just going to live with that. And I'm going to go down and uh, take us to the walking animations here. And we're going to select all those. And we're going to put them into our uh, application that helps us build sprites. Now, that application is called Sprite Helper 2 Pro. And uh, let's launch it. And we're going to create a new document. And I'm just going to create one for iPad only. And I don't really care to create multiple versions. You can create multiple uh, sized versions of the sprites um, uh, for use, used for dynamic content scaling. But um, I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm just going to remove the non-retina one. And we're going to remove this suffix here. It's just going to create one version. You could do that if you wanted to. So let's create the document. And now we've got this untitled document. First thing I'm going to do is save it. Uh, and I'm going to put it in this folder I, on my desktop. Uh, I call it Sprites. And I'm going to call it uh, Fisherman. And that saves not an actual Sprite sheet, but the project. That's important to know. So the next thing we're going to go to the sheet properties and give it a name. I'm also going to call it uh, Fisherman. Okay. And then finally, we're going to go to our window that's got all of the bitmap the bitmap images, and we are going to select the first one and go all the way down to the bottom one, and we're going to drag them all into our sprite sheet work area. Um, now, these images uh, contain walking animations uh, for each direction, north, south, east, west, plus northwest, southwest, etc., etc. So, um, once we have it in here, um, we can go on to the Sprite Sheets Animation Editor to start creating our actual animations. So, I'm going to expand that out a little bit so I can see the file names. Now, these file names are not in order. So in order to order them, I'm going to click on Sort Sprites, and then I'm going to sort them by their name ascending. This will make things a lot easier for us as we create our animations. Now, we're going to create eight animations, one for each direction that the character walks. So to do that, I'm going to click on the plus key, and that creates a new animation, and I'm going to give it a name. And for the first one, it's going to be called Walking-E, for Walking East. Now, most sprites you want to loop, um, so we're going to click loop, and that in ensures that it keeps looping through the animation continuously. You can always stop the animation in Corona SDK. That's where we would want to do it. So um, we've got loop selected. We've got a name. So now we need to choose what uh, files we want to include in our animation, and that's easy as clicking on the first walking e0000.bmp file all the way down to the seventh one, or actually the eighth one, but named seven. And you just drag this over into this pane. And to test it, you can click on the little play button. Notice there's like a little play uh, 
player up here. Just click play and you can just see this little guy walking. Great. That's working. Click stop. All right. So we created our first animation. The next thing we need to do is create another animation and we're going to entitle that walking dash n for north. And don't forget to select loop and then go over here to the left and select all of the north walking uh, frames. And again, I can test that and I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and do the same uh, again. And we're just going to repeat this until we've got all eight animation sequences done. Okay, so let's just go through these and make sure we have loop checked in each of our animations. That's really important. Okay, good. All right, so um, our next step is to export these. We can do that by clicking on this Publish button up here. And when I do that, I am given um, these options of what I want to export. And all I care about is the Sprite Sheet Animations Editor. We want to export the animations. We're not doing anything with physics, so we're going to uncheck bodies here. And we're not going to do anything with these skeletal animations. We're going to uncheck all those. So once you've done that and you've only got animations uh, selected, just click Publish. And it just takes a couple seconds to export. Now we can uh, go get out of Sprite Helper. And we'll close up our folder of bitmaps and let's go into sprites. And you'll see we have several files here. We've got the original project file. This is the first, this is the file. If I double click on it, we'll open it up in the sprite sheet editor uh, program. Um, ignore that untitled. We don't need that. Um, so we also have this fisherman, fisherman Lua file and this PNG file. This is our actual sprite sheet. Now you can see it's it's been created as a single file with all the animations. Uh, this fisherman fisherman lua file actually defines um, each of the frames of the animation, the x and y coordinates and the height of the, pic the pixel height, width and height uh, that define each one of these frames. So it's done all the heavy lifting for you, so you don't have to mess around with uh, defining this in your Corona project file. You can just include this file. It's really, really nice. We also have this uh, Fisherman's um, SheetAnimations.lua file, and that, um, that <clears throat> defines the actual animation sequences that we created uh, in our sprite. Uh, editing program. So this is the name that we're going to be referring to inside of our main.lua file uh, when we build uh, our project in Corona SDK. Okay, so we're not quite done yet because as I said, annoyingly, we still have these brown backgrounds. So we're going to take care of that pretty quickly by opening this thing up in Fireworks. So I'm going to grab the uh, PNG file and uh, drag it into Fireworks. And I'm going to use my uh, selection, my magic wand selection tool. And down here at the bottom is in the properties uh, panel for this tool, you want to set the tolerance to about 10, at least for this sheet that worked well for me. And then um, you click somewhere inside the brown and try not to click anywhere on the character but just on the background and that's going to select all the brown areas in uh, that uh, that individual frame 
Now to expand that selection to all frames we're going to go to the select menu and choose select similar and that will select everything. Now this is only chosen selected the brown areas and if we want to zoom in you can see that. Okay so now that we've selected everything we just hit the delete key and that gets rid of the background. That's simple. Now we go to file, image preview, and we're going to export this as a PNG file and we're going to put it right back into um, into our sprites um, folder. And I'm going to give it a new name. I'm just going to call this fisherman.png. Save the old file. All right. And uh, I'm not going to save that now. So here's our original. And here's our new one. All right. Good. All right. So, um, the next step is to build it into Corona SDK. Now, I've already done that. I just want to show you this thing working. Um, let's click on sprites. And you can see I've got him loaded and walking in a uh, southeast direction. And if I go into my Corona project, I can change my sequence and we can see him moving around in different directions. Okay, so that's how you um, create a sprite sheet from a bunch of uh, images and uh, implement them in Corona SDK.